Listen, man. My plan is to get married to Tina right away. What? I'm hey, serious. Chris. I'm serious. <laughs> no, you can't be serious. You just got to know this girl about Monte Go and you're talking about getting married. What? Well, no, come on, man. I met her in Abuja in February when I traveled for that AGM. I told you. Look, I know we lost contact, but she never left my mind. And so? Nice to meet you Same. again. Same. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Uh, my, come on, this is ridiculous. You don't even know anything about her. What are you talking about? I don't need a lifetime to know her. I spent one month with her. Blissful. A blissful one month. I'm happy, man. So, how long have you been around? Um, for about a month. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have you been sightseeing? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen some nice places. Oh. <laughs> you know how it is. Mm -hmm. well, that's good to know. <laughs> Kenny, and I can tell that she's my missing rib. I have been searching for so long, and God just put her in the palm of my hands and you think that I can let go but it's not possible Mike Tina is a gorgeous lady I think you're infatuated no I'm not infatuated I'm in love with her I wonder what they're discussing right mm -hmm. men <laughs> I'm sure he's soccer or making money how to make more money for real I'm serious man I know what I feel for this girl you know, my plan right, right now is just to, you know, pay her bride price and just take her straight to the altar. My God, <laughs> I think you just have to take your time over this. What are you talking about? Take what time? What's the point in moving when you've gotten into your destination? Tina is my destination, man. We're here. Why are we having this conversation? We should be planning a wedding, man. Eh? Mike, are you sure of this? The feeling is real, man. My next move will be to just pay her bride price and take her straight to the altar. Mm. This is serious. Very serious. Does she know your plans? Well, I have engaged her, so I'd like to think that she knows where I'm going with this. You're really sure of this? I'm certain. Very certain. It's okay if that makes you happy. Then, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, thanks. You know what? Uh, let's get back to you, ladies. Uh, let's not stay away from them for too long. Come on. Let's go. Sipping on what? Juice, I'm okay. Let's see. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. Good, man. We can change it with our juice. Right. So, both of you are probably acquainted now. Mm -hmm. So when I'm busy, you have someone to, to you know, hit the town with. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amaka is a jolly good fellow, so it's safe. <laughs> well, you're just keeping quiet, rubbing on your woman and, and well, stuff. Yeah, that's what I should be doing. <laughs> Taking care of my woman. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Come on, keep your leg here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Hey, babe! Hey, boo! You going out? Yes, I am. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a lie! It's the truth! Understand. Like, how did you even do it? Just a month ago, and all of this is happening. 
I know, right? You know, he said he couldn't wait anymore. Oh. He just wanted me to be his wife. I'm low-key jealous. Oh, please. I, I, I feel bad. Oh, come low on. Low-key. I'm so happy for you, babes. I'm so happy as well. Thank you. My goodness. All these years, mm -hmm. we've been here with this guy. He didn't notice all of us. <laughs> you came from Abuja in one month. Voila. <laughs> Marriage. <laughs> Indeed, right. the ways of God is really different from that of man. Hmm, Babes, what did you even again. do? I need the secret. <laughs> you can say that again. Nothing. I did nothing. I know, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Come, where are you going to? Hunger won't keep us. I want to go get food. <laughs> Babe, I needed to eat. You are not going anywhere. I have gist for you. Not to worry. I bought us pizza. Of course, it's a standard. I have to be your chief bridesmaid or no one else. Let's go in. I, have I know, I can't I have... wait. I need to tell you exactly how it all happened. I'm dying to hear all the details. I know. You want to hear all of it? I'm so curious. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. I know, your favorite. Indeed. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Babes, mm -hmm. this tastes heavenly. <laughs> I trust mm. you. You are food. Story of my life. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Babe, mm? he's going to see my people next week. <clears throat> next week? Mm -hmm. And immediately after the bride prize, the wedding follows. <laughs> Come on, hmm. Tina. Don't you think this is moving a bit too fast? Huh. My dear, I can't stop it. Too. Mike is all over me. He lost me too much to care about how long we've met. Same way you love him. Don't make it look like it's one-sided. <laughs> I don't just love him. I care about him. Hmm. I can attest to that. I mean, you've practically been living in cloud nine since you came across him. My dear, not just cloud nine, cloud ten. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, this guy is so loving. He's so nice. Hmm. So romantic. Aww. And he's committed to our relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so sweet, you know, but... Tina. Hmm? Have you actually checked him out? How? A guy like Mike is likely to have baggages. How? Mike is handsome, sociable, romantic. He's most likely to have baby mamas here and there. <laughs> have you tried finding out about that? My dear, trust me, I thought about it. And? And I just casually asked him and he said nothing like that. And I believe him. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and, babe, mm -hmm. we've gone foul. Yes, we have done a series of tests and we are fine. He's AA and I'm also AA. Her genotype are a perfect match. Mm. What more do I want? <laughs> Babes. Hmm? This is one incredible love story, you know. I mean, like the type we see in movies. It is my own love story. Indeed. <laughs> and you know what? Tell me. He said he's been searching, but now he has finally found his last bus stop. Hmm. See, not the last bus stop. That's money. Ah, I am the last is bus good. stop. I am the last bus stop. <laughs> And you better start getting prepared because you are my maid of honor. Of course. Mm -hmm. It's a standard. I have to be your maid of honor. If not, who else? I trust you. Mm. <laughs> Proudly. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have a wedding to plan. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> yes, we and do. all the colors are going to be up to me. Mm -hmm. Leave that with me, okay? I trust you. But you can carry on with your love story. It is not your wedding. Oh, please, don't remind me. <laughs> It's our wedding. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so happy for you, babes. I am. Happy for myself as well. Mm.
Can me walk him? Me go, my man. Can me walk him? I did. <laughs> what's good? So what's up? Good. With updates. Good. You got the hall, eh? Um, I've gone to secure the hall. Oh, okay, cool. And I've um. What? What do you want to hear? Oh no, no, you, you, you said know, it's what secure. do you want to hear? What? I didn't say anything. And what do you want to hear? Well, you said you secured okay, the I've, hall. I've paid for the hall too. Get out. <laughs> Kenny! I'm serious. Come on, man. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. It's Come okay. on, that's expensive, man. You can go ahead and um, settle with the cooling. Of course, I'll take that, but isn't that putting a hole in your pocket? It, it's, it's a lot. My guy now. Thank you. Okay. I really appreciate it. Okay. For the cooling bag, we, we, <laughs> I got in touch with, um, with um, a cooling van um, facility. Yes, um, because I changed my mind. I, I think we're going to have a lot of guests, so I might as well um, not use a small van, you know, something really, really big. Okay. So I walked into the facility and guess who I saw? An old schoolmate. Wow. Yeah. As <laughs> so I told him I'm getting married, he was quite excited, congratulated me okay. and told me that um, I can come tomorrow, pick which of the vans that I want and then make payment. So we're good. Sure. That should be better. Yeah. You know, I'm so happy that everything is falling into place real fast. I'm happy. You know what they say, huh? The world is ready for a man who knows where he's headed. That's eh? right. That's right. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how is Tina? Fine, man. We spoke, um, I think, about 45 minutes ago. She's also in town running around, putting a few things together from her own end. And mm -hmm. then she was just telling me what she's going through with her bridal train. That's what mm -hmm. they call it, right? Yeah. Bridal yeah. train. And the person bringing the cake and all of that. You know, uh, women and their things. <laughs> well, their issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I envy you, man. I envy you. In a week's time, my friend Mike Miko, that I know is going to be a married man. You, you should be married too soon. You can do it when you're ready because I know my, Amaka is ready. Uh, yeah, but Amaka is just pulling me back. What are you saying? That girl loves you, man. That girl loves you. With all... Have you seen her around you? Mike, I know she loves me, but... You know, she digs into my past, she digs into everything, trying to make everything hard for me. I, that makes me feel that she doesn't really love me enough. No, she loves you. Maybe she just loves you so much that she wants to know everything about you. Every little detail. Some women are like that. You know, relax bro. She wants to know everything about your life, past, present and even future. You're plenty of scapes with women. Man, are you savvy? Are you savvy? Hold on to that girl, man. She's a good woman, man. Trust me. Uh, well, thank you so much for today, man. So, Boy, we are looking good. This is how far I have gone. Okay. Um, this is how much um, I have um, ticked off the list of um, things that we have to do. Um, Mike, before this, I'm very thirsty. I need to drink something. You want to drink? Am I supposed to ask? <laughs> <laughs> you know I got you. You know, you know what you I, know I, I got you. Are you, are, you are, you're waiting you. for me to ask you first before you give me something to drink. I'm enjoying this. Mr. Tina, do you take Michael as your lovely wedded husband to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, till then do you part? Yes, I do. <laughs> Brother Michael, do you take Tina as your lovely wedded wife to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, till then do you part? Yes, I do. What all that's trying together, no man can die. What's written is written. Now you may kiss the bride. And no one can resist. So have become one. Oh, oh, oh and no one can see. Finally we are one and no one can divide that's the will of God No more asunder no more heartbreak together forever No more sad party no more Storm, 
I have been calling you. That's why you didn't pick my call because don't they pick us in salon? Hey now, nah, you were disturbing. You kept on calling and calling. I didn't pick, you didn't rest. You were just calling and calling and you were disturbing everybody that was there. So Shut I... up! Bloody liar! I was disturbing. Who, who was I disturbing? I see, I, I'm not lying. Just stop this urgent. I'm not lying. That's how you keep on monitoring me everywhere I go. I go to the bedroom, you monitor me. I go to the toilet, you monitor me. Market Unko, you monitor me. What was what, all this now? Eh? You keep on monitoring me as if I'm your house egg. See, Joseph. In case you've forgotten, I am not your house help. I am your wife. Oh. So you know you're my wife, Sandra. You know you're my wife. But you go out there, cheat on me. I'm to my face. I don't know what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me just be honest with you. I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. You prevented me from attending my uncle's wedding today. Uncle Mike's wedding. And now you won't allow me to have rest. What's all this now? Which, which Uncle Mike are you talking about? The, the same Uncle Mike, the same man that said, I am nothing, that I'm not good for you, that I'm a foolish boy. Oh yeah, go to the wedding, I want to see you with my eyes. Enter the wedding now. Sandra, as your husband, your legally married husband, I am ordering you. Oh yeah, enter the house now. I am not going anywhere. I'm seeing this thing clear. So your plan is to go back to Tony's house. You want to go back to your ex, Abby? What's the meaning of all this now? Hey, hey, Joseph, I am not coming from anybody's house and I am not following you in there. I will sleep here like all the mosquitoes eat me. It's my body. Do this will happen now. If you don't follow me to this house, eh, I will kill you here and I will kill myself. Two of us will enter heaven and, and settle this matter now. Sandra, oh yeah, enter this house. Better. You should better start seeing ourselves. Joseph, what are you doing? Joseph! Sandra, Sandra, you want to beat me a bit? Enter this house. Joseph. Rich. Hey. Wow, how do you sleep like this now? Hey! After five. Tina! Tina, you. Bros, bros, wake up, wake up, wake up. You need to pay me. Tina, how do you sleep like this before, bro? How come, how come? Bros, you know they hear me. Wake up, wake up. Pay me my money. Time don't go, I need to they go. Ah, by now, I'm supposed to not reach house. Bros! Oh, yeah, yeah, do, 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 do. Answer me, answer me. They waste my time. Hey! Tina, Tina, Tina! You shop us like this before now? Nah? Which one is this one we can't do now? Nah? Eh? People come to see you for road. In here, 
Spoon don't wake up since now. Nah. Sure? Oh, bros, now you know they hear me. Wake up. Which can sleep in the sleep? Oh. How, how much? Bros, why are you ask me this kind of question now? Uh uh. Me and you talk and say overnight and 20,000 naira. But, bros, if you add something put, you no go bad now. If, so that you no go do like those other ones. You'll be correct. You'll be correct, bros. Hey, where my shoe even there now? Bros, I bet quick make you set me the money. See that you know they do like, where are my clothes? Where my shoe? Where my everything? Where my <laughs> I, I just imagine things when I wake up suddenly. And the only thing you could imagine is how prostitutes demand their pay in the morning after servicing their clients, obviously. Tina, so this is who you are. With an insurance company, right? Yes, Mike. I work with Mandela Insurance. That's the way you met me. Yes, because you combined that work with prostitution. That's what? Mm. You are nothing but a despicable prostitute. Mm. Jesus Christ, how the hell did I get here? I beg you in the name of God. Don't come close to me, I swear to God. I would kill you with my hands. Let me explain. Don't come close to me, I swear to God. I would, I would, I would slough my life. Out of you. Let me explain myself. What is your story? Please do not. What is your freaking story? Let me explain myself. Like, I love you with all my heart. When I, when I, when I came to Abuja, right. I didn't have anywhere to uh -huh. stay. <laughs> my auntie that promised me disappointed me. Exactly. That's when. That's when, of all the options in the world, you chose. On prostitution. Oh, no. Of all the options in the world, you are nothing but a filthy Abuja oh, Rose girl. That is what you are. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of your existence. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I swear to God. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare touch me. Don't touch me. Ever. I I love you. Please. Don't say that to me. Don't say that to me one more time. Say that to me one more time, what I'll do to you. What I will do to you. You say that to me again, I swear to God, I will kill you. I came into your life thinking that I was dealing with a human being. I opened my heart, I opened my world to you. I led you to my world, I told you everything about me. Jesus Christ! And what did you do? What did you do, you bitch? You decided to show me a package you. That is what you did. I fell for it. Hook, line, and sink. I got married to you only for me to wake up to this. I cast the day that I met you. <laughs> if I ever see you again, trust <laughs> me, I will kill you. You want money, right? Oh, you want money? You want money, right? You want money? You want money? You want money, right? You want money? You want money? You want money, you freaking prostitute. You are excuse of a human being. Don't ever in your entire life come close to me. You try it, I kill you. Idiot. This is over. You want money, right? Life is like a stage where characters are displayed many times before. It does not mean we fail. Ah, 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 ah,
Person now, take it easy. Who? God is not a man. What? Okay. God is not easy. a man. Take it easy. He knows more than you do. Okay. Just call me. Uh, but, okay, you just finish with that with your wife for now. Hey. Ha. Nah, eh. Life is like a stage <laughs> where <laughs> <characters> <laughs> are <sadly sleep. laughs> many times before. <laughs> Does not mean we okay. Honeymoon baby. I thought you would be sleeping all day due to last night. <coughs> Gazi, where are you? Me? Of course I'm in the house. Why? Are you sobbing? Why are you sobbing? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> My world has collapsed right before me. Tina, what is the problem? Where's, where's your husband? Ngozi, please, just pack my traveling bag and bring it to the hotel. Pack anything you can find of me. Just, just come as soon as possible, please. Tina, you are scaring me. What is it? Give me an idea. What is wrong? Why are you crying like this? If you don't come now, oh, you will not meet me alive. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Please come right away. I'll be right. Life is like a stage where characters are displayed many times before. Does not mean we fail. What have I done to deserve this kind of punishment and humiliation? <sighs> what have I done? What have I done? Everybody wants. Told me to get 
to know her, but I did not listen. I was carried away by the beauty and finesse of an ordinary prostitute. I did not know. begin to explain <laughs> to my friends and associates how I begin to explain to my friends that travel from far and wide that the marriage is off. There is a big problem now. There is a big problem. My ogre shot himself. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. He came back alone. The next thing I heard is, why? Ogre shot himself with the gun. And I believe that Ogre has died. I'm not mad, you. I'm not mad. You need to come and see it by yourself. Oh. You need to come. Oh. Hello? 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 He said he came back alone. Yes, the next thing I heard is Moab. Oka shot himself. And I believe Oka is dead. Oka Mawukwala. Oka Mawukwala. Clement. <laughs> Michael, my brother, is dead. Yes. No! Chavu, you are a liar. <laughs> Oka has killed himself. You principalities and powers from the coven of demons. I am going to cripple you today. You cannot. My brother will not.
Michael, what happened? Michael! But Michael, what is it? What happened? What are you doing with a gun? Michael, where is your wife? Get up or not? Eh? Have you finished your honeymoon? Because oh, talk to me. Karun, your only sister. Tell me, get if and talk to me, please. Oh man. Picon on. Picon. Michael, please say something. Huh? That. Only brother, Mado. It will not go well with them. Satan, you are a liar. They will gather, but they will scatter in seven folds. You cannot penetrate my brother. Not when I am still alive. You demon from anywhere you are coming from. I cripple you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God of Abraham. God of Elijah. God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. This will not happen. It is not a generational cause. My grandfather married. My father married. My brother will marry. Wherever this is coming from, I am crippling you. I am crippling you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. You cannot do this. Elohim Adonai, King of Kings. Hey, Jehovah, Jehovah Nesse, Jehovah Shama. Oh, village people, village people. So this is what her plan is. God, will I wake up from this dream? My whole world just dissolved right before my eyes. God with the wind. Calm down. Calm down, please. You know, I just can't believe this. Tina, I still think you would have taken out time and explained to him that you used to be a Ron's girl. Given how crazy Mike was about you, he still would have married you. Especially if he truly loves you. Oh, we both know he don't. Why didn't you? Gozi, it was just for a short while. I got to Abuja, things were hard for me. I just had to survive. But I stopped immediately, I got a job. It was very short when it was. <laughs> this is bad luck. This is just bad luck. That's what I can make of it. But Tina, what I still can't process is how you could open your mouth and say such rubbish of all this. Tina, what were you thinking? Oh, see, I don't know. I don't know. It had to be my wedding night of all night. I can't fathom it. I think I'm paying for all my sins. <laughs> I think I'm paying for all my sins. Tina, don't talk like that. I know you're hurt, but we will definitely find a way out of this. Okay? No, there's no way out. There is just no way out. No. There is. <sighs> Listen to me. Mike will come back. Right now, he's just so shocked and upset, which is a given. 
any man in a shoe right now would act exactly the way he I don't think you understand what I'm saying. You, you needed to see the looks in his eyes. He was full with hatred and disgust. Jose, he actually called me a, a dirty pig. <laughs> Listen, those are the words people use when they are very upset. After which they will calm down and still come around. And so would Mike. Okay? I'm sure the whole world would know by now. Everybody will reject me. They will abandon me. Don't talk like that. Because I want to die. <laughs> Let me just oh go to die. <laughs> Tina, Tina, the world would not abandon you. I am right here with you. I'm still your friend. <laughs> we all have our flaws. When Ronnie comes, man is full of imperfection. We all have our flaws. When Ronnie comes. I see you like the drink. Huh? Oh, beautiful. You like good things. So <laughs> As I was saying, my brother, mm. see, all this I love you, I love you uh, talk before marriage is fancy talk. When a man is ripe for marriage, he gets married. Simple. When you accept a woman as your wife, then you begin to love her. That is the way it works. Yes. Really? Yes. I did not know my wife before I married her. It was my aunt, my mother's sister, mm. that recommended her. Mm. And I saw her and married her. Today, we are living happily ever after. Three wonderful children, two big boys and a girl. Adan, you know her, yeah. my, my, my daughter. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was actually my mother that reincarnated in her. Oh, OK. Yes, that is why we have this uh, special bond. Uh, so, I closed the chapter of childbearing since. And uh, you are here still talking about uh, choosing a wife. Mm. I love her, I say, well, I love her. I said, no, I love her, but I'm cool, telling you. Then we're God, then we're God. Mm. Okay. I <laughs> uh, thank God for your life. Uh, but I will not um, do that. I think it's a bit um, ancient and crude, your methods. Times have changed, and things are done differently now. Which times have changed? As far as family is concerned, nothing has changed. Nothing. Yes, you know I have traveled around the world. Yes. <laughs> you know I have been to places in this my life. Mm. And I can tell you that a woman is a woman from Australia to Timbuktu. And so forget about all this uh, picking women like beans. Now nah, picking, why can they pick beans? Just pick a wife, get married, have children, and settle down. Simple. That is a man. Well, you know what they say that you see what you see from where you stand. This is how you see life. That is not how I see life. So I'm sorry. To say that I disagree with your methods. I, I will not do that, I'm sorry. You disagree with me? Yes, I disagree. Sorry. It's okay. You can disagree with me. But you will not disagree that uh, time waits for no one. Oh, that is relative. Oh, uh, well. Uh, okay, relative, okay. Uh, but I will advise you to bring your eyes down. Mm. Mike, bring your eyes down. Mm. If possible, go to the village and pick a good girl from a good family. Yes, at least if there is a problem, you know who to report to. Why would you advise me to go to the... It's the 21st century. Go to the village to pick... In the 21st century, they don't ma ma marry from the village. Malika, please. I do not intend to have a marriage where I have to report the circumstances in my marriage to a third party, even if they are family. I will not do that. If my wife and I cannot resolve the issues that we're having in our marriage, then what's the point? It's not worth it. Anyway, that is for you. Me, I report to. I report. 
last month, just last month, my wife misbehaved, and I reported her to her, to, to her father. Yes, and they called her to order. And today we are we are now living happily ever after again. So that is the way it is. That's the way it is. Um, but if you feel uh, differently because of this your Yibo life, no problem. But thank you for the wine. Uh, I'll be going. I can see you like the drink. Mm -hmm. I like it as usual. Mm. It is fine. Mm. So let me go my go and see my wife. Uh, yes, <laughs> go and see your wife. <laughs> Hey. So, thank you. Uh, thank you. Mm. So, when you call us, we'll answer you. You see, you can know. We all have our flaws. When Ronnie comes out, man is full of imperfection. Man is full of imperfection Life is deeper than what you think of Yes, life is deeper Maybe Madoka was right after all Love is indeed overrated man, God is not a man He knows more than you do Life is deeper than what you think of. Yes, life is deeper than what you think of. God is not a man. God is not a man. He knows more than you do. So tell me, what do you intend to do now? It's almost night. Lucy. Yes. Please, I need you to do me a favor urgently. Of course. Anything for you. Here. I need you to withdraw some money for me. I need to sort out myself. Please. I need about 150,000. I can't go out there. I'm too ashamed. I don't understand. I mean, why do I need to go withdraw some money? What about all this money I packed? No, no, no. I don't want to have anything to do with this money. Cosy, please. Please. So what will happen to this money? If you say so. Explain to you. Ngozi. Yes. Thank you for being there for me. Of course. What are friends for? Now I need you to promise me one thing. That you're not going to do something stupid. Please, Tina, you really have to promise me. I won't. That's my girl. I have another request. Yes, I do. Come on, I'm not asking for too much. And you have to say yes, even before I mention my request. that when I leave here, you will go into the bath and take a shower. Water has a way of making people feel better. You've been depressed all day. I need you to freshen up and just rest your head. And I'll be back in no time. Sure. Alright? Okay. Um, because the pain. Oh, <laughs> I practically forgot to ask. 
two okay. five five four. Two current. Two five five four. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. In the shower, please. I still can't understand why you don't want to use this one. If it's me, I'll use it. We all have our flaws. Where on your come Man is full of imperfection. God is not a man. God is not a man. He knows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I overreacted. I'm sorry. I shouted at you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know how to take what you, what you said to me. So I just got upset. You know. Hey, I'm here now. Because I miss you. I can't live without you, baby. Huh? I'm sorry. I've come to take you home with me. Will you come with me? Never leave my I've been calling you since and you haven't been picking my calls. Okay, no problem. But please, come as early as possible. Never leave my life. Michael, I always told you to do strong prayers. Do dry fastings, but you don't do them. That is why the devil invaded your life. I kept telling you to come down to the village and get a decent wife from a decent home. I had one ready. But what do you do? You keep flying from one country to the other, from one state to the other. Have you seen the result? Have you seen it? Holy heaven. Sister, I don't know why you are like this. We have talked about this several times. And you know, my business does not allow me the room to travel to the village as often as you would have preferred. But it will give you a chance to go to places where you will meet wayward girls and useless ones that just disgraced you. Eh? Ifulia? You are so lucky she is only a prostitute, not a ghost. Okay. Michael receives sense. Receive wisdom. Read the Bible. Study the word of God. I've heard you now, sister. I've heard you. Stop rubbing it in. It's fine. I've, I hear you. Why won't I rub it in? Michael, tell me. Why won't I rub it in? Hey! Heavens. King of kings. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Please, make my brother see. Michael, don't you know that the madman's relations are more ashamed of his condition than himself? That's what you're saying. No, 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 no. Look, you just called me a madman. I did not. Go check it. You're not a fall. Guy, work. I'm done with this. It's enough. I've had just a lot. This is the problem. You don't listen. That's just the problem. My only concern is that you are our only son. If not, Michael, I will leave you to your foolishness. What is this? Hey! 
Holy Moses, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, Jacob, Abadinego, give my brother wisdom. You made Solomon a wisdom man. You gave Solomon wisdom, Father. You made David the man after your heart. Why won't you give my brother wisdom? Let my brother receive wisdom. You village people, anywhere you have gathered, you will never succeed. I know you will gather, but in seven fold you will scatter. Holy Moses! My girl, you must marry. You must marry. I must hear the cry of a baby in this house. Hello? Uh, madam, the money for this room has expired and you've passed your checkout time. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you please just exercise some patience? My friend went out with my ATM card. Um, Mom, we have POS here and you can actually do transfer. I know. But my friend went with my card so I have to wait for her to get back. And I don't have mobile banking app on my phone. Please, just give me some time. Ma, it's against our company policy. We don't do that. But I respect you because you just got married. I understand. Thank you very much. All right. Well. Eh? This is more than wonders. I mean, the guy practically abandoned her in that hotel and vanished. Just like that. Oh, poor girl. But this were all in her past. Who told you it's in her past? It's in her blood. Once a prostitute, always a prostitute. No. Tina surely changed. What are you saying? She did not change. Even the short while she was living here with us, I noticed all the traces of a prostitute in her, even though she was trying to hide it. Because I do not believe this. Because I never saw any sign of prostitution in her character. So what are you saying? Really? How would you see it? How would you see it when all you do is Mother Theresa, Mother Righteousness? I mean, the whole thing was just too good to be true. <sighs> you know, I kept wondering how this girl came from Abuja all of a sudden. Fiam, marriage. Fiam, everything was just happening so fast. If the whole thing was too good to be true. Okay, think about it. If she was genuinely good, if she was really as good as she was pretending to be, why didn't she find a husband in Abuja? Hmm? Hmm. Gazi, I just do not feel good about this whole thing, honestly. I can imagine what she's just going through right now. Hmm. Me oh. too. Poor girl. I feel bad for her. Which reminds me of what my pastor always says. Whatever you sow, that you shall reap. I mean, you can't be a prostitute in Abuja hustling all the men and all of a sudden you want to come to Lagos and play the wife material. How does that even happen? I don't know what to say again because I'm just tired. Just... Anyway, what is my own self? Oh, 
I just wish she gets through with all these problems. It's too much for her. Could imagine what she's just passing through right now. Well, me too. I just wish people would start making good decisions so that they don't keep falling into this kind of tragedy. <sighs> but I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, me too. Anyway, babes, I'm hungry. I need to go get something to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So much for an abandoned bride on her wedding day. Going on? I'm fine. You promised to come since morning and I've been waiting for you. Tina, let me just tell you the truth. I don't want to be associated with you anymore. Hmm? Yes. Tina, I don't want people to think of me as a prostitute. I have a serious fiance and I don't want stories. Because what are you talking about? Do I have water in my mouth? Tina, don't call my number again. Your news is all over town and I don't want to be smeared by it. Ngozi, why do you choose to bite me when I'm down? The question is, why do you want to drag me in your mess? Don't you have a sister or a relation? Call them and leave me alone. Okay. No problem. Good. What about my money? What money? I gave you my ATM card to help me get some cash. Please, where's the money? Where is it? The hotel people are already on my neck to pay up. Tina, please, that is none of my business. <laughs> Do you think, didn't you hear me? I don't care. You can send someone to come take your ATM. Just don't call my number again. Rubbish. Nonsense. Can you imagine? Can you? What's she calling me? Am I the only one she knows? Nonsense. Was I, when she was prostituting with all the men in Abuja, was I there? Now she's calling me. I beg you. If you don't know Tina, she's a very selfish person. Can you imagine? I accommodated Tina in this house for free. I did made of honor for her for free. I even went as far as going to the hotel to see her when everyone else was running away from her. Now she wants to turn me to an errand girl. What nonsense! For you promised to help her, didn't you? I did. So? If you see, I hate anyone taking me for granted. I hate it! That I promised to be there for her doesn't mean I was going to become her slave. Uh-uh. Whatever what is worth doing is worth doing well. You should have helped her with the money because of her present situation. If you don't understand. See, I'm not a bad person, no. Really? I'm a very good person. 
I've been good to people and it has not worked for me. Now I've decided to be like other people. Really? Yes. Besides, I told her she can send someone to come and pick up her ATM card. That's fair enough. Okay, can you give me the ATM so I'll go take it to her? She could be stranded, you know. <laughs> Wait. What kind of sympathy club are you trying to form? No, 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 no. What are you trying to prove? So all this while I've been talking, I've just been blabbing. You want to take the ATM card to her so that you'll be the good person and God will now become the bad because one. Because nobody's calling you a bad person. I'm only trying to help a friend here. Nobody's calling you a bad person. Ah, Mother Teresa. Rubbish. Help out of all. Can I explain me that, Semo? Where's my phone, Seth? Let me go and change and see a big girl, babe, when Sabi. Are you actually walking out on me? No, 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 no. I am lying down on your behalf, Mother Theresa. Rubbish. This girl is me. Can you see? The whole thing is too shocking for me to take. I became a bachelor on my wedding night. How do you explain that, Ken? Do you know? I was proudly showing my sisters the wedding pictures and they, they were all gushing over them. Uh, where is she at the moment? I don't know. I don't care. So what are we going to do? Nothing. It's over again. are like this. How can Ngozi of all people tell lies about me just to drag traffic on her Facebook page? UNG, you're looking so good. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again after this difficult period. I know. Ha! Huh. Your friend is so unlucky, you know. I will never understand why good men always fall into the hands of bad girls. My dear, things happen. Everything about that marriage happened too fast. I was even worried about your friend, not knowing Tina would turn out to be the devil. <laughs> that was really a mess. Exactly. Bam, she just came down from Abuja. Boom, she met Mike. Next thing, marriage. I was like, sure. Do you know, mm -hmm. she even confessed to me that she has been a Ron's girl right from her school days. Yes. She even said that the thing has gotten into her blood and she couldn't afford to stop it, whether single or married. Wait. Can you imagine? 
she said that mm -hmm. she said even worse things i mean rotten things i can't afford to utter. oh that is really bad my friend is so devastated oh poor him you have to console him i mean he, he needs you you would have to console him and also advise him to take things more slowly next time. I think you're right, I'll do that. And not fall for pretense. Because if he was patient, he would have seen right through the mm -hmm. fact that that girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do just that. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> nice to see you, Lizzie. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, where are you up to? Um, I just want to go check some property down the street. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll come with you. It's the weekend and I'm free. Come on. All right. Life is deeper than what 